Hi guys, I am so excited to tell you what has happened. I almost can't believe it. I think we finally managed to make the whitest white paint in the world for all of us to use. But before I show you it, I really need your help. I'm, I'm going out of my mind with worry here. My whole team has been split up. The normal science labs we use are, are on complete lockdown. I've set up some crazy facility in my garden shed to make enough paint to share with everybody. And I'm hoping you might be able to join a beta program for this whitest white paint. Help me test it, please, so that when we come out of this lockdown, we can all have the whitest white paint in the world to use in our work before some really bad, and I mean really rotten, corporate scientists take this stuff so that the art community can't use it. I mean, if you thought the black thing was bad, what's about to happen with white is even worse. This is beyond any art war we've ever seen. So right now we have an opportunity in that the big companies like 3M, DuPont, they're all in lockdown. They can't access their science labs. Cambridge University is shut. And that means that you and me can make a whitest white before they lock it down. Now, for those of you that don't know what is actually happening with the whitest white, scientists all over the world are trying to make the ultimate white substance. And they've been so clear that they want to make coatings for industrial corporate reasons. Now, we remember what happened with the black is black. This cannot happen again. What happened was a few years ago, scientists found this guy. He's the Siso Fachillus beetle, or the ghost beetle in English. Now, what's interesting about him is his shell is a very, very complex structure, but it is the whitest substance that scientists have ever seen, and it's super thin. In fact, it's about half the width of a red blood cell. That means they can make white that is 100 times brighter than any whitening compound they've ever found, and why they're interested in it, they might tell you it's for the environment. It's because they only need the smallest amount of material. It means they can make loads more money. Now, we know these guys aren't interested in artists. They don't care about us being able to express ourselves with colour, and that's why we don't like them. Now, I've had to ban 3M from using it. I've had to ban DuPont from using it. For those of you that don't know, DuPont worked out an amazing process around titanium white Someone stole the recipe from their factory. He's in prison for 13 years after selling that recipe to the Chinese for $30 million. So this is, this is a serious business. Now, 3M's 8,000 scientists are currently at home. Their 37 labs have been shut down, and the 1.37 billion they spend a year on research and development has been freezed. That means that you and me, with our little kitchen mixers and our paint, have a chance, a small chance, to make the whitest white. Now let me tell you a little bit about how we did it, how it works, and what it means for your and mine art, because that's what's important, isn't it? There's two types of uh, things going on with colour. There's structural colour, the way a surface does things, like our friend the beetle, or there's a pigment, like titanium white. And up to now, we've been relying on pigments to make colour. And what scientists are looking at is these structural colours. We saw that with Vanta black, with nano black. It's a similar sort of thing. Anyway, I've got this, and I wanted to show you this. This is a spectralon tile. It's a fluoropolymer. In English, it's a structural colour. And what this is doing is this is reflecting all the light back at loads of different wavelengths, and it's diffusing it. And that means that this little tile here is reflecting, for you and me, nearly 100% of visible light. That's phenomenal. Now, unfortunately, this stuff only exists like this. You can't paint with it. And this cost us 400 pounds. So it's far from an affordable, usable paint. It's like Vanta Black all over again, but white. And it's very similar to how the beetle works. So we've been looking at the structure of this and we've created a paint that is very porous. So light can go in and then it scatters it out across the whole spectrum. For those of you who are into physics and science, I'm sorry, I know I'm explaining it really simply, but I want everybody to get the essence of how we've made a super white paint. And what we've done is we've also combined some of the things we know about pigments. So the things DuPont were playing with, the titanium stuff, that's in there. But the other thing we looked at is good old fashioned paint making so that when we use it, it feels good. Now, one of the things that matters to me in my own work, of course, is 
is how a white goes on a canvas. I want to show you that because what we want from a white paint is, is in my opinion, good opacity. We don't want to be putting four layers on when we paint. We want one stroke that goes on super cleanly. It's completely opaque and you can't see through it. That's vital. So it does that. Now, and it's absolutely awesome. It's essentially an acrylic paint, but in our tests, it's reflecting back something like 99% of visible light, which is phenomenal. I mean, you paint it on a sheet of uh, white paper and it's brighter than paper. So we're definitely getting there and I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy using it. Now, what do I need you to do? How do you get involved in the beta program? Well, the thing is we've only managed to make very few of these bottles of paint. Uh, as I say, we're using the home labs, but it's a great time to find out what you like, what you don't like, what works and what doesn't work. So what I'd like to do is send you three different strains of this paint. Each of these bottles has a slightly different concoction. Some of them are more opaque, some of them are more durable, some of them are brighter, whiter. You'll see, I don't want to spoil the surprise and I don't want to color the way that you uh, explore them but I want you to use them in your work. So if you paint miniatures, paint miniatures with it. If you paint big paintings, paint big paintings. If you make jewelry, if you do acrylic pours, I want to know how it works. Then we're gonna send you a short survey, just getting your feedback, your opinion, uh, and that kind of thing. Um, one thing that's really important is when you become a beta tester, you are gonna have to solemnly swear that you are not a color criminal. And by color criminal, I mean Anish Kapoor and the creators of Vanta Black, for obvious reasons. DuPont, we've already touched on the fact that, that that guy's in prison for stealing a colour. How anybody can own a colour, we can't comprehend, but that's another story. T-Mobile are banned because they're going around suing people for using magenta. They think they own the colour magenta. That's bonkers. Uh, 3M, of course, we know they've got 3,000 patents. One of them's for canary yellow. Uh, they seem to think they own canary yellow. So they're definitely rotters. And uh, Daniel Smith, of course, who brought up the last reserves of quinacridone gold pigment. So they're all banned. As long as you're not them, not friends with them, and not gonna share any with them, please join the beta program and we'll send you the paint. Um, we're not able to do it completely for free because it's cost time and money and effort and materials to make this stuff, but we are gonna send it to you for what it cost us to make it. So it's completely non-profit making. And then as a thank you for helping us, when we nail that white too, before the baddies come out of lockdown, we will share that with you um, at a discount and way ahead of anybody else. So you'll be the first people in the world to get it. Guys, I really hope you enjoy using the paint. Thank you so, so, so much. And um, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Bye.